Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tank blog. Yes, I am smiling. I will tell you why. About half an hour ago, I'm getting my last things ready to go on a, a drive. About an hour and 45 minutes upstate in New York uh, for the wedding of one of the members of my gaming group from. High school and college, the, the last one of us to remain unmarried. He was, he was closing that loop. And uh, we were on a basis, and usually in late May, the month of June. And uh, I was like, well, congratulations. And so I put it on my, my sheet. Rach and I have uh, a schedule sheet. There's a lot of stuff going on appointments wise, right? Rach has physical therapy twice a week. We got to keep things from conflicting. Well, we had a holiday this week. Monday was a holiday. And I was pointing out stuff like, Rach, you've got an appointment for Monday, but it's a holiday. Are you sure? You got a dental appointment on a legal holiday. Oh, yeah. Well, she didn't. She had the wrong date. Because for reasons. But the whole thing was is that the whole week everything had shifted one day. So I corrected that. But I didn't correct the wedding I was about to go to. Because when I went to the venue website, to verify the address, put it into my phone for the GPS. Lo and behold, it says one day away. And I went, one day away? We're talking hours. And then I looked and I saw September 8th. Well, today's the 7th. So Rach, stand down, stand down. We're not we're not leaving. Rach looks beautiful, by the way. To die for um but yeah now obviously it's better to be early than to be late uh it's we're going to be early at least i can adjust go through this whole it was a dry run we'll go through this all again tomorrow but what do you if you do if you're a day late not a day early it's already happened and isn't that a great plot hook for the They get a date where they're supposed to be somewhere to stop an event or uh, participate in something or to confront the big baddies or whatever it is. But it's on that date that something gets lost in translation. Maybe in translating from Dwarven to Common, the date gets transposed. Maybe the person gets the wrong date. Maybe it is. Again, a number that in uh, different languages looks similar to another number. Whatever it is, the players are late. Shit's already gone down. Now they are playing catch up. Now they are coming up from behind. Mm. Again, <laughs> I was early. My screw up was an early one. That one's fixable. Maybe, and maybe the players are off by a week, and they're early. And now other stuff leading up to it, maybe what they were supposed to be involved in doesn't happen because they muck things up prior. Well, they fix things prior, depending on how you look at it. So these are... I am not a biggie on keeping track of time. Oh, real life time. Well, you have two weeks between sessions, so two weeks passes. Learned about that. But there are events that are time related. And when an event is time related, then time matters. Maybe they're the AMP and maybe the of hours. They thought they were supposed to arrive at high noon. Instead, they arrive at midnight 
or vice versa. There's a lot of ways that you can use time as a tool, not just like Shadow Dark does, with the one hour timers, which I think is fine, it's fun, it adds some stress, real life stress to the players, knowing that there's this timer that's constantly going. But play with your players' time. Sorry. Or they're going to be on time, but an event slows them down, and now they're late. So they got the time right. And they knew when they had to be there. But the uh, the bridge got washed out, and they had to find another way to forge the river. And now they're going to be late. And how are they going to fix it? Or what things get put into motion Maybe they get there extremely early. Maybe they get to view things before things are placed into motion. Again, like I said before, you can change events by changing or just changing how the party arrives, when they arrive. So it's just something to think about, something to uh, possibly address. Now, a few uh, quick notes. We are going to be on this channel with other interfaces for streaming, for recording, other than StreamYard. StreamYard is quite literally fucking over their creative that have used their service. Um, and many of us are looking for alternatives. I am locked in at the current late at StreamYard until December, so I should have some time. But I want to find something that is suitable, hopefully adds more to this channel. Than what we currently have a stream. So that's a cosmetic thing for many of you. Uh, number two, obviously, if I got a wedding tomorrow night, I'm home tonight. But Rachel and I will be doing Gamers Health tonight. It's back on. You can't do it tomorrow night because we'll be at the wedding that I I screwed up on. Um, uh, on top of that, the last bit of bookkeeping is there's a link on the bottom of the screen. 10 cars dash tavern dot games slash guy gags. It takes you to an awesome bundle of RPG related products ranging from Swords and Wizardry, OSC, Call of Cthulhu, uh, Castles and Crusades, uh, I believe third edition, probably Pathfinder. Uh, there could be 5e stuff in there too. Um, it's good stuff. It's well worth the money and it's an affiliate link so a portion of the money that you spend on that or any other bundles that have a bundle when you go using our link will help support this channel so rachel and i will be here today, just so you all know call me an idiot uh other than that be safe be well god bless throw those eyes for them well uh back again 8 p.m i'll see you all then God bless.